I think first and foremost, from a partner pers uh, partnership perspective uh, with Walt, I get a CEO who's willing to sit down and not only talk to me about what the business strategy is, but his vision for the company, not just in 12-month increments, but longer term. And that allows me to take a step back and think about the implied business models that kind of are inherent in that strategy. The technology innovation cycle takes time, and so we can't just rapidly throw things in. We have to sort of build a very agile platform that allows that, that business to unfold. So if, if Walt has visions for geographic expansion or expansion in certain manufacturing capabilities or services capabilities, it's helpful to at least understand those boundary conditions as we begin to take that business architecture and that framework and translate it into a technical architecture and a roadmap. We don't do that with specificity. We do it at a, at a level, level of abstraction that allows us to understand the context within which we're going to operate. But then on the annual business, the annual integrated business planning process, we now are able to sort of narrow band the things that we really need to start focusing on. Charles is one of the larger consumers of our, our IT spend uh, in the company. He has uh, an appreciation for what's happening in the market that most of our uh, colleagues may not have. And so uh, I think uh, uh, you look at the, the function you want that uh, capability to perform uh, for the enterprise from a strategic point of view, and then you look at the individual and how and what strengths they bring to broaden the thinking uh, of, the, of the senior leadership. And I think uh, Ed Charles has done a marvelous job in, in helping us all here at SAIC take a bigger view. So that, that's, that's the way I would characterize the, the, you know, we call it a partnership, but it's essentially we're colleagues who uh, bring different uh, perspectives to our business, and, and Charles' perspectives are, are somewhat uh, unique uh, at SAIC. The other thing that's been very helpful is for the CEO to understand the challenge within the IT organization uh, that we had historically, where, um, Historically, many of the functions and businesses sort of, I won't say dictated, but certainly were very specific in how they wanted their things to operate. And the challenge for that is if you optimize on a function, if you optimize on a business, you do so at the, at, at the, at the, at the peril of the enterprise, if you will. It, it begins to take away from the strategic flexibility, quite frankly, that the CEO requires. Um, and so by understanding that and having a dialogue about that, it allows us, I think, to sort of navigate those waters together pretty well. How we create that alignment between the work that uh, the CIO is doing and the, and the direction uh, the C CEO has for the company is, uh, is a fairly rigorous and, and uh, disciplined process at SAIC. Charles had mentioned the integrated business planning process. Well, that integrated business planning process is the annual cycle we have at SAIC to look at our business environment, look at our strengths and weaknesses, uh, target what areas represent the best opportunities for successful uh, growth and financial performance, uh, and then through a three-phased approach, look at alternative strategies uh, and capabilities that are necessary to deliver on our strategic objectives. And that's a very integrated process where Charles and and the functional colleagues in line with the, the line leaders, our group presidents and business unit general managers. Uh, we uh, thrash about uh, during the first three quarters of the year that ultimately delivers a business plan uh, at, at towards the end of the year that then forms the basis for uh, execution for the upcoming year. And, uh, and then we use our quarterly operations reviews that involve uh, all of our uh, senior leaders uh, to to remind ourselves what we said we needed to do this year and how we're doing against those plans. So the 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 process for delivering uh, capabilities that are strategically relevant to our growth are uh, are found in the integrated business planning process and our quarterly ops reviews. And um, you know uh, Charles Charles right there in the process. And I guess I would leave you with this message for chief executive officers. In a digital economy, you owe it to yourself to get to know your chief information officer 
and his or her talents, skills, and limitations because they can take you to new places or they can prevent you from going to the places you really want your business to go. In summarizing uh, my thoughts today, I would encourage the chief information officers to work uh, as closely as you can with your CEO to provide value, not just from, a, from an operations perspective, but from a strategic perspective, uh, not just as a commodity uh, or function, but also as a critical enabler for the success of your company.